His name was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Ibn Abdullah Al-Hashimi Al-Qurayshi He's Muhammad The slave of Allah The prophet and messenger of Allah The final prophet sent To this world after a long line of prophets And that prophet That Jesus Christ the son of Mary spoke about and prophesied and he Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said I and Jesus Christ are just like these two fingers the prophet sallam said do not pray for war but when it comes be patient and our prophet sallam after he received revelation we're saying after he was 40 years old, the Prophet saw him, he fought in 37 battles. And he carried with him 18 kilos, 18 kilos of armament in the hot sun, going up mountains, crossing the desert when it's 110 degrees, and he's carrying 18 kilos of armor riding on a horse. And this is after he's what? 45. I'm mean, after he's, I'm sorry, 50, 55, 60. So the Prophet Sam fought in wars, and the companions of the Prophet Sam said, they said when the Prophet Sam was on the battlefield, he was the most ferocious. They said when he was on the battlefield, he was not ducking, he was standing in clear sight. He was not ducking, he was not hiding. He was in clear sight of the enemies of Allah and he was fighting them. And they said, Wallahi, we used to hide behind the Prophet Sallallahu ourselves. So when he was at war, he was a man of war. And when he was at peace, he was praying in the night, one third or two thirds of the night praying towards his Lord because that wasn't time for war, that was time for what? Prayer. And think about this. On the battlefield, Allah did not allow the Muslims to stop fighting. He said, oh, some of you go forward and continue to fight while the others is in sajda. When the other ones come out of sajda, the other ones go back and they fight. And so the Salah went like that. Say Allahu Akbar. Allah. So our fighting is balanced and our fighting is principled. It's not a fighting and a war like you see seeing on TV. Don't get it twisted. See, this is Islam. This is the Quran. And this is Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the messenger of Allah, who was the receptacle of all of this. That man, who received all of this and who was the legacy of all of this that the world is a beneficiary of this is what we're talking about here tonight he's the most honorable he's the most trustworthy he's the most truthful he's the holder of the most integrity the Prophet Sallallahu he was tortured he was cursed he was stoned he was denied he was boycotted. He spent two and a half years in a valley in Mecca where they boycotted him. They wouldn't allow anybody to bring food, blankets, water, nothing. One of the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu said, Wallahi, we were so hungry that we used to eat the cactus. We used to eat the cactus from the desert. And when we used to chew it, it made our mouths bleed, but we ate it anyway. The people of the Jannah, the people of the Paradise, they are fair izun. They are the people who will be successful even if they die, even if they are suffered, even if they are oppressed, even if they are tortured, even if they are killed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls them fair izun. They will be successful because life is like that, like that, like that. However long you live, with what of enjoyment that you have, life is like that. But the hereafter, 
والآخرة خير وأبقى الآخرة خير وأبقى that the آخرة the hereafter is better and more lasting than what you have with you today O Muslims if we come back to Allah come back to our senses come back to the discipline come back to the Quran come back to the Sunnah when we know this man well the one that we say Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina wa Nabiyina wa Habibina Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam When we come back to that Allah will give us success